Afternoon, you lovely lot and how has your Saturday morning been uh, ours has been fine here in the studio it's been a lovely morning so far we're learning lots of inspiration and it is our event in our love to craft uh, it's going right on from it has been on uh, since the 6th and it'll be going on to the 12th of February uh, now on the website you will find a code so don't forget to use it so anything you're shopping for today go on and put in that LOV ve 14 so love 14 and you will get an additional 14 percent off of all your purchases and i truly mean all of them so even if you're going for something that's up to 70 percent off one of our three for two deals one of our sticker events anything that's on our website today you will get an additional 14 percent off of that as well as your club inspire so if you haven't joined club inspire just hop onto our website crafters companion uh, and join that club because you get a five percent 
discount just for joining. So what other club gives you a discount straight away on top of all the extra bits that you've got? Anyway, you're joining us. It's 2 p.m. and uh, you're joining us for box making. Uh, it's a masterclass of what our lovely guest loves to do. Uh, all this week, one of us have been in, one of our um, team have been in each day showing you what their loves are. Uh, Liam was in yesterday. Uh, you've got our, I'm not going to say, I'm going to bring her in a minute, Corinne's in tomorrow. But today, you've got the amazing, talented construction maker of the decade, <laughs> Al Michelle. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you are super talented when it comes to construction, aren't you? I think I, I, I love doing it. Um, I just, I love making boxes out of our cards. So you've probably seen my exploding boxes and things like that before. Um, and I love doing all those, but I think sometimes when you want to make a keepsake for someone, bringing your mount board in, um, and it's sort of the same principles as if you're using sort of just card, but bringing your mount board in means that um, that little jewellery box that you want to make for your niece or your, your granddaughter, you're going to be able to do because um, the mount box, so it's going to withstand um, little hands, but, and again, so if you're making to sell, having... So even if you have one piece on your craft stall that shows someone what you can do with mount board, it's going to be a showstopper. It's going to be sort of, it draws those eyes to your um, stall. And plus, it is just the most fun thing to do. I absolutely <laughs> love that. Uh, so stay tuned for a two-hour extravaganza of our Michelle with her masterclass, which is going to be amazing. But first, we do have an amazing bundle to show you, which is our grab box. It is. It has so many things in there uh, to be able to get crafty with. Now, we're looking at it right here. We've got our box panels on here. We've got our ornament dies. There is so much. It is an amazing uh, deal, this one. You're saving over 50%, £25 today or 35 now, if you look at that platinum price, $20 or £28, which is incredible. Uh, it means also that platinum price, you will get also that 15, uh, sorry, 14% off. So don't forget to put that love 14 in the code. I don't know why I keep saying 15. It's not 15. Valentine's is 14. Uh, so it's love 14. So if you hear me saying 15, it, I'm lying. It's the 15th. It's the 14th. I'm lying. Uh, right. The mount board. Yes. Uh, so um, let's have a look here. We've got beautiful A4 uh, cardstock. So uh, what this is, is our mount board, which is really tough. Uh, we think of this as in um, die cutting your um, mixed media dies. We think of it in using our puzzles to create our puzzles because it's that really tough medium. But actually, if you go back and look this morning, and I'm, gonna sh I'm sure we're going to see uh, more ways today, um, you will find so many different ways to use Use this mount board a box that Michelle made in this morning's play your crafts right uh, was incredible and I, I some it's a thing I've never thought to do with mount board I'm definitely going to be trying it myself this is our a4 mount board it comes in uh, five different colors uh, you're getting two designs of each in a4 uh, and you're saving 10% on that so it's a great one to add into your stats if you want that mount board 8.99 or 13 pounds 49 uh, we have got it in various sizes so do go and have a look if you want sort of smaller or bigger sizes the mount board is in there now talking about mount board we're gonna um, throw over I'm gonna grab my iPad so I can check on socials remember we are fully sociable so if you want to ask Michelle anything uh, just the that down there you get um, get in with your questions ask Michelle anything you want and I'm sure she'll do her best very best to answer them uh, but we're gonna have a look at the mount board I believe Michelle uh, we are so we're gonna make um, a different kind of box that, that we did this morning with mount board and again I'm using just a couple of different um well, i'm going to show you a couple of different ways to use the mount board and then you can you can take all these different ways of covering or using it um into your own um box making or you know anything you can be making can literally can be making anything i've made so much storage for my craft desk at home so i've made ink storage i've made a little ribbon box with a little dowel with all my ribbon hanging off of it so you literally can bring it into all sorts and then obviously we have got so so many papers paper pads that you're going to be using um you know to cover and decorate with so um absolutely get your mount board out get your favorite paper out and make make something fabulous so straight away a couple of different things that i'm going to show you first of all so i've cut a piece of my mount bar down i think it's 
It is, it's five by five. And again, it, it's beautiful mount board. You can buy some that's uncoated and it's almost looks, it's gray and ugly and looks like a bit like a cardboard box and you're going to want to cover it all. But our mount board actually is so pretty on its own that you don't necessarily need to do much to it. So I'm going to use this for the base of this box. But what I'm going to do straight away is, again, um, I, you saw me earlier on, I covered the edge with ink earlier because I wanted to disguise the edge. But this time I'm not doing it to disguise the edge, I'm doing it to give myself um, a, a, an extra matte and layer look. So straight away, if I just bring that in, you can see that pink pops lovely. So I'm just going to tap my uh, ink pad and it's just my quick dry that I'm using. It's my fuchsia. I nearly went all Sean Connery then. Using. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So. Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Ben. I took that from Ben. <laughs> um, right, so that is just my base piece. And I've got some, so this is my daisies, uh, paper and card. And I've just already matte and layered that. And I'm, we're just going to glue that on there. But you can see I've got that lovely pink popping around the edges, which just looks lovely. So I was saying earlier, if you're going to be using um, mount board, tacky glue, if you're going to be pop popping card and paper on it, is your best friend sticks to mount uh, board beautifully and it's really tough really strong and then obviously for the construction bit i always use uh, red liner tape so you know what's interesting michelle you always use your intricate uh, fine tipped bottle for all your gluing uh, where i would use the bigger bottle to do it so you get more out of time yeah but you put very little on don't you which yes love. yeah definitely um and I think it's a testament to the glue, actually. You mm. don't need a lot of it on, do you? Very true. Um, so, again, I'm always, always, when I'm putting any card or paper on mount board, I'm always going to bring this in and I'm always going to give it a good squish, um, for want of a better word. I love that word, squish. <laughs> so you're going to make sure you go over all your edges because you want them all down. So that, um, so that is one way that you're just using it as a nice matte and layer piece, but it's going to make the base of this really nice and solid. So I'm going to pop that to the side for now. Um, and then this is for my lid, hence me writing lid on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it so I didn't get confused and, and with all my pieces that I've already got cut off. So again, I've got another piece of this paper, this beautiful daisy. Um, and... I'm going to, unfortunately for my design, I'm going to cover that beautiful daisy up, but because um, I want that lovely lid, um, wood side showing out. They didn't have that pretty pad on the guess the paper pad this morning, did I, they? I know. I think that one was too easy, wasn't it? Might it might have been too easy, <laughs> yes. Perhaps we should do a B-side one, although I don't think we did 100% well with, um, with getting the normal sides of them. God, no. <laughs> I think even if they had have shown the fronts with the names on, <laughs> I don't think it would have helped me much. So anyone that doesn't know what we're talking about, on Play Your Crafts right this morning, we did a guest the paper pad for our game, um, which was quite good. And actually, going back to that, I will just... Um, we did have um, a little bit of an issue this morning. I say an issue. It just means there's extra winners because uh, there are some extra people um, to give a name shout out to because we put winners through from YouTube and it was oh. supposed to be from Facebook but we're going to send you all a voucher so I'm going to just read those names out while um, our Michelle is snipping um, so Bernie Sow, Deborah Balford, Catherine Folder, Pamela Green uh, Ridge and Lorraine Benito uh, if you email to the below here that we can see prizes at crafterscompanion.com you have won a prize there you go oh i love that <laughs> absolutely yes we don't like to leave anyone out and we're sorry no. about that mistake <laughs> right so i've just snipped my corners off as you as, as i normally do so this piece of um mount board is four and a half and i normally leave roughly about an inch round at each side for uh, me to fold over if you've got that last tiny little piece of paper that you need to use and it's not quite as, as much as I've left, you can absolutely use it. As long as you've got enough that's going to fold over, um, it doesn't really matter. But I always tend to do it 
roughly about an inch it just makes it a lot easier to do and a lot easier to work with so I've got my red line on there and again what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the mount board itself to fold and score that line there so just doing it that way it ensures that I have got it perfectly aligned to fold over I'm not going to get it on the one car anything like that it's going to do it perfectly for me so do that with all four sides and again scoring at your paper when you're going round mount board is just it's really important for you to do because you want to get those nice crisp clean edges and once that's glued down when you if you run your scoring tool over that you get a lovely square edge it looks lovely so again i'm going to pop glue on the tab bit to make sure it sticks nice and well and again so this is what i'm doing here you're going to be able to do this with any size um, so whatever project you're deciding on doing you this particular um, way to do it is is perfect for a small lid a big one whatever just going to work Perfectly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was going okay. everywhere but where I wanted it to. Right, so um again, so I'm gonna pull the I always find it easier to pull it towards me. Um I feel you've got more control and I always make sure that I stick that middle bit down first and then I'll stick those edges down. Um, there's nothing worse than coming round here, sticking that edge down and again finding it's a little bit wonky. So I will always press that middle bit down and then bring in with the edges. And you can see how perfectly clean um, and straight I've got my edges. So I love that, looks bring. so neat and in neat and tidy. Oh, it just, it is. It's always worth taking that little extra time on these, these bits where you're sort of scarring and burnishing. It's always worth doing that because when I stand it up, if I run that along there, I have got the most perfect square edge. It just, it's, it's perfect. Yes. It's perfect. Right, so that is sort of two different ways, again, that you can use our mount bar. Because it's so beautiful, you don't necessarily have to cover it. And then that's the other way that you can cover it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pop those to the side because I need to make this. So this is going to be my box and I've made this in exactly the same way as you saw me do this. All I've done is I've added another piece of paper um, just to cover that up. And then here, so these are going to be my sides. So you can see that that's going to be the outside because I've got that matte and layered piece on the inside. Oh yeah. So this is four by four inches. So I have got four pieces and you can see actually that these two on top are just a little bit smaller. So the reason being, because it's mount board, when I pop that one on here, it's four inches wide. It's perfectly four inches wide. But by the time I've put the opposite one on, you've gone down maybe two or three mils. So if this one was four inches wide, I wouldn't be able to sit it inside there. So if I pop that there, you can hold that. Once that one's on, if that one was four by four, if this one was exactly the same length, you can see that it's not, it wouldn't sit in because you're, gonna, you're going round the top of it. So I've got two pieces here that are exactly the same length. But these two pieces, if you can see, you can see it's roughly a quarter of an inch shorter. It has to be because once you've sat them on top, that needs to be able to sit in the middle. Does that make sense? Yes, I love it. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> good. So again, what I'm doing is I'm making sure that that side is, that's going to go down is nice and square because we're just going to stick it. So we're going to stick it with some glue. And this is the tricky bit because you need five hands and <laughs> ten feet. So I'm just going to put the glue on the edges. And this is where what I tend to do is I will bring something in to lean it against. 
So I'm just going to hold it just for a second. I'm going to pop that there so it leans against it, so it doesn't flop down. So this is what I'm, it's like a balancing trick. Let me. So you, you're going to have lots of bits round you that are going to be propping these up. So this is going to go again. So this is the smaller sided one. And glue on the bottom and glue on that side. And we're going to stick that up against there. So I don't use red liner tape for this because it's definitely too thick. Um, this can be a little bit fiddly. You just, especially when I'm trying to uh, let you guys see exactly what I'm doing. But that's all right. You get there in the end. You just have to just take it's just taking your time with it, making yeah, sure. That you could use Michelle. Um, I don't use any other glue for this other than our tacky glue. I find it the best. It, I mean, the stick on it is amazing. Yeah. So let me. I love you using all your little uh, crafty <laughs> goodies to to keep it to keep, keep it, it straight. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Once it starts to go tacky. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. It's just waiting for it to go tacky and sort of hold itself. You just need to, as soon as that bottom bit's in line, your top bit comes out of line and um, vice versa. So you have to just keep going back, but it's absolutely fine because we get there in the end. So a little bit of glue on the front of that side there because that edge is going to go up against that and then across the bottom. So popping that on there. Yeah, I was just thinking as you were making it that maybe a hot glue gun would be good as well. Uh, yeah, um, the only thing is with a hot glue gun is um, it can seep out. Right, yes. And you need to... Get um, squidgy bits. Yeah. And if you're happy to sort of wait until it dries and then pull those bits away, then absolutely. But I always tend to go this way. Because once it's all glued, I mean, it's not moving. Yeah, it's not going to come apart. Absolutely not. So this is, this is a little bit like, you know, when Sarah colours and she can't speak. <laughs> you're holding all your corners together and you lose so the ability. So instead of a colouring coma, you're in a box making <laughs> coma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Well, while you're um, gluing that then, let's say a few good mornings and afternoons. Uh, we've got uh, Linda in saying good morning. Sandy is in saying uh, back for another round of crafting ideas while sorting out the goodies recently received. That's exciting. Um, and then you, we've got uh, Laurie's in today saying happy Saturday and good morning from Arizona. Carletta is in and saying hello, hello everyone again. Uh, Janet is in saying good morning from beautiful sunny Michigan. Uh, we've got uh, Lynn Blackledge in from the Isle of Wight. Rachel Brown is saying good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon Rachel. Um, also Lynn is in from Norfolk saying hi. Uh, Cheryl Kay is saying Michelle I've been waiting for this class all week i'm oh. obsessed with making boxes and being able to use mount board is so awesome i can't wait to see what you do today oh thank you amazing lots of people in today uh, karen's saying she loves the things that michelle makes uh blessed craft is saying <laughs> hey there all my sweet crafty enablers i love that let's yes. make some boxes uh janet's saying that i'm finally excited to I'm, I'm excited to finally catch a live masterclass with Michelle. Absolutely, we're all excited. Um, and Myra's saying good afternoon, everyone. Feeling um, pleased to be able to watch you two, two great presenters. Oh, that's Aww. really nice, Myra, thank you. And Evelyn is in saying good morning from a beautiful Colorado. Um, we've got, um, who else? Uh, Karen's in, Michelle, can you use mount board to make the project that has the draw template to make the draw at the bottom and hold the two mini albums that sit on top of it. Yes, absolutely. There you go. Um, I suppose you could use a craft knife and a ruler. You just yeah, multiple cut yeah, through definitely. it to trim those extra pieces. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you obviously you would have to maybe adapt a little bit. Obviously, you know, you're not going to be cutting bigger pieces out and folding them. 
Um, so if there's a template that's got the base and the sides with a piece of card you would fold those up but obviously with mount board you wouldn't what you would do is what you saw me do earlier you would add the paper to um, three pieces of the mount board then that gives you your fold that yes. gives you your size does that make sense yeah mm -hmm. okay good good tip there we go so that has very perfectly come together oh amazing so if you have done this and you were worried about your sides coming apart or anything like that, you have got a couple of options. You have got things like these metal findings that you can buy. Um, they're like corners. So mm -hmm. what you can do is you can pop them on your corners and um, it's going to keep them together. Or if you don't have anything like that, what you can also do, which I think looks lovely. So I'm just going to roughly cut this for you. So, depending on what size your box is, um, so this one, what is this? Is three three inches high? Um, cut a piece of card or pa well paper, relative uh, size-wise to this. Give it a nice good burnish. Um, if you want to corner, um, corner your corners. Um, you know, if you've got one of the <laughs> that's it. Mighty <laughs> your corners. If you've got like a corner punch or something like that. So you've got a lovely, really nice burnish on it. Let me cut that down a little bit more. What you can do is you can add those. Now, obviously, you'd make it look a bit tidier than that. So you could add those on top of the papers. Or if you put all your mount board box together and then decorate it afterwards, you can pop those on there because it's, it's again, it's almost, it's extra stability for you that, um, you know, you can pop on top if you want to. You don't need to. Once that is set, there's no budging that at all. But those are just two options that um, I wanted to let you know you could do if you felt like you wanted extra strength added to that. So that's my box there for now. So this is my box lid. So let me pop that to the side just to let that finish going off. So I'm gonna bring in all my box, uh, box lid, box lid bits <laughs> get that out. that's a mouthful so yeah, it really is <laughs> so you can see that i've got this nearly all the way cut out so it is what are we three and a half by three and a half inches so it is um just a normal box lid that we do but i've got that extra um bit on and it's all it is is just it gives it that little bit of extra strength so when you're making your box lid, instead of adding just one inch extra for your sides, you add two inches extra, and then you've got that extra bit there. And then just to cut them down, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take an L shape away. So from each corner, you're just gonna take an L shape away. We're just gonna mitre into there. And then that gives you your um, reinforced edges. So just that bit there, that bit there so you can see it's just an L shape and then it leaves us with our tab that we're after so let me um, make sure that I'm gluing the right bits um, so your tabs I had to think twice about that I'm gluing all my tabs on the outside but because these are going to fold over I need to glue these four tabs on the inside So let's just pop that on all four sides. I love this, like that reinforcement of your box lid. I, it's very rare that we would put that extra inch on, but it's actually something that's really simple to do, but gives it so much more rigidity, doesn't it? It really does. It really does. And I think sometimes because we make um, uh, box lids with a deeper side, which means if we're using A4, it sort of only just fits. So to do a reinforce, um, we don't really do it, do we? No. Because this is smaller. And then again, you know, don't forget that you can obviously use your 12 by 12 to make the box lids as well. So each one is going to go over each tab. And then I've got a really nice, um, strong sided. It's a little bit dirty. I've got glue everywhere, but pretend you can't see that. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> 
It's always funny because you can, I can see it because I'm right on top of it, but thankfully um, you guys can't see it so much, so that's okay. <laughs> so again, I'm just going round with my scarring tool. Um, not only is it re reinforcing that um, nice scar line there, it's just allowing my glue to spread and stick down beautifully. Makes it so much neater as well. It does, it's really neat. I mean, normally when I do a box lid, I go around with my thumb to straighten and sort of run it across the bottom to mm -hmm. straighten the sides up. But I think you find when you do it this way, yep. you don't need to, it's Amazing. perfect. So what are we doing? So this is my piece of card from earlier. So this is the bit that I, uh, the mount board that I've covered. So we're gonna pop that on there and then that's going to go on the top there. So, which is why I didn't bother covering um, that bit up. So, again, let's pop glue on the lid. Again, making sure I get right to the edges. And in fact, I'm going to do it that way. So I can see exactly where I'm getting it in the middle. There we go. And again, so I haven't done all the box, in, box lid in mount board. I've just put that nice um, lip on the top, um, but that's enough to really reinforce um, this lid for what I want it for. So then we're gonna pop that on there. So what I've got here is I've got a little um, handle and it's just a, a piece of card. I've just cut a smaller piece of pan paper down and I've just scored two little tabs. So I can either just glue those down or I've got some brads. Let me just get a couple of these. I just found these in my stash. So we could, um, in fact, let's do that. Let me just bring in this. So all I'm going to do is before I stick that onto the mount board, I'm just going to roughly line it up um, with my poker tool. I'm going to pop that in there. Pop that there and put this on. And then I know um, if I'm gifting this to someone who's going to be opening and closing it a lot, uh, if it's just glue that's holding that down, um, you always you worry that it's going to come off. But if you've got those brads on there, that's not moving a muscle, is it? That's a so, great tip. And then we'll glue this on top. Don't worry about going around those. And pop that on there. So actually, let me give that a good squash to get them brads flat. If you pop these on and you find that your brad is quite pr protruding quite too much for you to be able to put it on flat, then all you need to do is bring another piece of card in, layer it there and there, um, it gives it that extra height to match those and then it will stick down um, a lot better for you. I'm just going to hold this for a sec. But also if you find that your brads are far enough in from the edge, it's going to glue down fine anyway. So there we go. So that's my lovely little lid. That's going to fit perfectly in. So I've done that so it fits in. So it's not going to come off. So that is that for now. And then last but not least, you saw me do this earlier. We're going to pop this onto a bigger base that I've done in exactly the same way. I'm trying to be really, trying to keep an eye on the time because I got a bit carried away this morning. <laughs> I didn't realise <laughs> how long my demo would took. Oh, that's fine. We're just loving watching it. I it's a masterclass at the end of the day. That's yeah. what people uh, love watching. Uh, you've definitely got me gripped to it. I was literally just having to think then, oh, I must <laughs> remember what I'm doing next. <laughs> <laughs> I was going into a watching coma. <laughs> oh, that's a good... And in a good way. I yeah, don't mean no. like, yeah, you, you wasn't I'm boring me. I'm <laughs> 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 so again, I've got that double, you can hear it, I've got that double um, mount board there, so you know it's going to be really, really strong. So this is going to pop on here, but I'm not going to pop it on there like that. I thought that was a, a little bit plain for me. So what I've got here is if you can see inside there, I've got chipboard. 
And all I've done is I've took a strip of chipboard, I've cut, I think I've got six pieces in here um, of roughly two by two, and I've just glued them all together and I've got a little block of them there. And then all I've done with this is I've just got a piece of paper and I've just wrapped it round and then glued it. I've already glued the bottom bit, so um, you don't see me doing it twice. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do with this top. So let me just cut this a little bit shorter because it's a little bit too long for what I want. So, and again, you're not going to see this, so I don't need to be too um, tidy. I don't need to worry about that. So um, all you're going to do is if, you, you know when you make a box lid and you just snip those corners away? So let's just snip that out and it gives me my tab. Oh, I'm intrigued. So I have no idea what you're doing I've just here. got my tab there. So we're going to go all the way around. And I'm going to cut. That one went a bit low. Let's, there we go. Cut my little tabs. And again, you'll just take a little bit more time doing this than I will. So then all I can do now is I can just squish those down. And I'm going to glue them, squish them. Squish is the word of glue the day, squish. isn't it, today? It is the word of the day, <laughs> squish. So... Let me glue all these tabs. I just bought some sweets this morning. I think they're called squishies. <laughs> oh, I love those. So they're, there we they're go. My next, my next car journey sweets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jamie's right. There are plenty of other sweets available. <laughs> Absolutely. They were mini eggs of the day, uh, the last couple of days. And in fact, no, there's a few left. George, there is a few on the bookshelf. Not many, not many, but I think Ben's been at them. Ben and Leanne, I'm taking a, a pant <laughs> Yeah, they were in yesterday. Right, so you can see this is about, yeah, it's half an inch. So it's half an inch deep and it's chipboard. So um, I know whatever I'm going to put in my box, once it's sat on here, it's, it's going to take the weight. So, you know, this is about building something quite substantial that you can put something a little bit weighty in. So all we're going to do is we're going to pop that in the middle. Um, it just raises my box up off the base and it's just another way, just makes it look a little bit different, a little bit more fun, almost like a centrepiece for a table. And if you know what, if we're putting stuff in it, it's going to be chocolate, isn't it? Absolutely. So let's pop that in the middle. But all I did just to cover those up, you could see I've just, again, just snipped into the sides, folded them over. I mean, I could have made a little box out of cardboard as, much, as deep as I wanted, but the reason that I've layered the, the chipboard up again is because it's so strong. So I'm just pressing it down. And you've made it so neat, it seems a shame to cover it. <laughs> I know, I know. So again, um, some tacky glue. Tacky glue is absolutely your best friend when you're using this chipboard so again layering that up I'm just going to pop my hand in there to make sure it's nice it's and stuck so just give it a second to go off it's always worth waiting because we always get a little bit impatient pick it up and it comes undone doesn't yeah. it I suppose if there's nothing to stop you putting a bit of plastic in there and use it as a little plant pot I mean oh, what a gosh. lovely Mother's Day gift Easter gift so nice Absolutely. So, I, do you know what? I found this. I could pop this on if I wanted. Wishing you much happiness today in our way. So, this is one of our stamps. I don't know if Leanne was using it yesterday, but she did leave it on the side. So, you absolutely can pop any message on top of there if you want. But, um, yes, yeah, so that is, that is my box. Showing you those few different ways that you can use chipboard, the way that you can cover them. But, again, so that little um, chipboard bit in the middle, it just elevates your box mm, a little. Yeah. And just makes it, I called it chip bar, didn't it? Didn't oh, I? It's bar. Michelle, thank but, you so much. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I am blown away with that. Absolutely. I, I know I, I obviously went quickly, didn't I? But um, obviously, you know, if you save it and, and go back. But um, all the ways that I covered them mm. and used it is very quite simple. Yeah. And then popping it together, you can see it's so much easier than 
uh, you think. Oh, amazing and simple, but did you know how to do it? Because I didn't. That's what these masterclasses are good for. That's why Michelle's in the building and showing us exactly what she does because she's absolutely so talented uh, and we're very lucky uh, to have her with us. So if you want to be creating like Michelle has been doing, you can get this mount board. Uh, it's on our website right now. You can see that number there. Uh, it's our A4 mount board. You're getting 10 sheets of this, uh, five colours in two uh, of each different colours. Uh, £7.19 of your platinum price. That's amazing. You're saving 10%. So that's incredible. Now, we do do other sizes in that. We do do. I'm doing the do do again. We've been doing that a lot this week. We do other sizes. Um, I think this one's a great one to have. So this is your five by three quarters by seven and three quarters. You're getting 20 pieces here. I think someone's been pinching these pieces. So they're not 20 in here, but you will get a full pack of 20. £7.19 or £8.95 saving and another 10 percent but if you want to go to a, another different size we do have this one in stock as well so this one's a little bit different from the a4 inside it's our 10 and three quarters by uh, eight and three quarters uh, and you're getting a 20 pack of that one uh, that's incredible value i would say that one is such good value to go for 16 pounds 19 or 17 pounds 95 so a further 10 percent and remember if at checkout you use our code love 14 you will get another 14% off on top of that. So that's incredible. Even platinum price at $14.36, you'll get an additional 14% off. So don't forget to use that because that is amazing. Uh, right, a few more hellos. People are absolutely loving that. Um, uh, Rosalind is saying, Michelle is giving me ideas to use with all this mount board, which is amazing. All the mount boards that she has. So yes, definitely use that up, Rosalind. Uh, she's also saying that she's trying to watch and and deciding uh, whether to take a cruise or a trip this summer. You were in my dilemma last year because that's exactly what we were seeing what to do. We've took a trip in the end and not a cruise, so a cruise will come at a later date. Um, but let us know what you decide. Uh, Alicia's saying, uh, could you use a hot glue gun? We were saying about that earlier, yes you could. It's just that it's thicker and it might get a bit few blodges down the side, so just be careful if you're using it, but you could definitely use it. Um, uh, Roslyn's saying if you use glitter or coloured hot glue you won't see that so you could hide all the glue bogies I totally agree um, then you've got Carolyn is saying good morning from Florida got package in three days with new shipping amazing that's really good three days I know we're hearing about all the shipping everyone is absolutely loving it I, I really love that we can uh, do that for you uh, Stephen Nichols is in saying afternoon ladies you're doing a lovely job thank you Stephen Terry's saying question for Michelle are you gluing it all at once to keep it square or just for speed ah so was you doing it for the demo or was you wait a bit longer to glue each piece although um, it stayed together and it, it did it stayed together um I think it's it's harder for me to do it so I, I know I looked all fin fingers and thumbs but um when you are doing so if I'm, I'm gathering that you mean in the far sides when I was putting those on the box yes yeah, so I think that yeah, yeah. so what this is, this is all down to how you find it easier to do. Um, so you saw me glue one piece first and then prop it up and you will find you tend to do that um, because you've only glued the bottom of one side to start with and then you're going to try and add that one on and when you add that one on, that one's going to move. So you literally need to constantly be um, all fingers and thumbs but that'll come, um, that'll come to you so you will figure out your way um, to do it but um, because it's tacky glue I know that I can put it on all sides and by the time that I get to put them all on it's going to have gone off enough that it's going to glue sort of um, straight away mm -hmm. and I don't need to worry about holding it for too long so by the time I've put one two three and four on they're all tacky enough that they're going to stay in place yeah um, if that makes sense. Yeah, a lot of sense. So with tacky glue, it takes about 30 seconds to a minute to actually go tacky. So if you can leave it for a few extra seconds, it just makes it tacky and it will stick really well. But uh, I agree with you, Michelle. It's my favorite glue. I love tacky yes. glue. It's amazing. Um, a few other questions we've got. Um, well, first of all, Tracy Madden is saying good morning uh, or good afternoon. She said she's having a lovely morning as she took her mum up to the John Lewis to get a uh, Kenwood mixer for her, for her 
mum bought her a 30th birthday surprise. How lovely. Uh, Sandra's saying, um, this is right up my street. Hubby has just put my mount board order in. Um, just one very basic question. Can you show the best way to cut the mount board? Uh, do the uh, Crafters Companion guillotines cut? absolutely do and I will show you I will demonstrate that for you right now <laughs> bear with me see I love this live TV <laughs> ask your questions we will get it done for you absolutely um so there's two ways obviously if you've got your craft knife and your ruler and your glass mat you're going to be measuring on there if you've got little pieces to snip out your scissors I mean I know I'm using my bigger ones let me bring in the ones that you would probably have so your scissors are absolutely going to cut it. It goes through like butter, if you can see that. It goes through like butter. Amazing. But yes, if you want it to cut a big piece, you're going to absolutely pop it in there. What I tend to do is I tend to bring it down where it meets and then I just press. And you can see I have got a perfect edge on that. Oh, amazing. So yes, so your scissors, your craft knife or your guillotine, even your smaller guillotine, it's the same blade on it. So, Fabulous. Or yeah. your thin metal dies will cut it as well. So, yes. uh, sorry, not thin metal dies. Your mixed media dies will cut it as well. Alison saying, afternoon, everyone. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. My order from Cartload, Cartload, that was, was delivered and Sarah's showstopper at the same time. That was only two days ago. Uh, please pass on thanks to all the warehouse and staff for their excellent work. That's really nice to hear, Alison. Thank you. Uh, we will absolutely pass that on. Um, so many more comments coming in, but we will get back to them in a little while. First of all, I have to show you our grab bag. Now, this was our embossing grab bag we've brought back to you from yesterday. Um, it has the most incredible embossing folders, cut and embossed, 2D, 3D. It's a great great one to getting started on your embossing journey so if you do love your embossing uh, you need to grab this just been told limited stock uh, do you know this Michelle if it's green on the screen it, it soon... means they it soon won't be seen <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get that out either <laughs> I was too excited to say it I know it's really exciting it's it for <laughs> I mean good for us not so good for you if you want to get it there is only a handful left so uh, grab these while you can it's our grab bag with eight embossing folders in it for 25 pounds which is insane or 35 dollars uh, you're actually saving 37 pounds 93 or 44 dollars 69 that's a massive saving on these i love this one this cut and emboss folder with the stars is incredible it's going to go for so many different occasions we've even got a christmas one that we've put in there for our cut and emboss uh, we've got a 3d folder absolutely gorgeous design these waves one uh, we've also got a 2d dotty folder another fantastic one to have um, i can't believe this one is in there as well these are our panel dies i feel like this bag gives you a taste of all the different embossing we do so from your regular 2d embossing your paneled uh, embossing your uh, cut and emboss folders everything there is just giving you the most amazing um, journey really on your embossing so if you love this uh, your embossing uh, then go for our grab bag 25 pounds today or 35 dollars and it is limited stock so it will be gone by the end of the day Right, uh, so we're looking at, oh, I haven't seen these in some time. Uh, I have to say, I love these boxes. Um, I didn't even know we had any left, so it's great for you that we've still got them. Uh, really good offer on these ones today. You're actually saving 15% plus another 15% on top of that. And then if you go to our website and type in the love 14, you will get another 14% off of that. If you're a platinum price, your 57 pound 10 will get another 14% off of that. So it's savings galore today. Go onto the website, see what you can save. Look out for those yellow tickets uh, because there's lots of really good offers. Uh, Michelle's gonna be doing a demo with these coming up next. So you're gonna want to wait and see what you can do with them. So put them in your basket see Michelle's demo and then check out because they are amazing the first one we're looking at is the roll-up box uh, just a beautiful design here um, which has got all these different dies what I love about these is the amount of die you get inside them so many different embellishments so many different ways that you can use them they each come with their own um, embossing fold not embossing fold their own stencil uh, to be creative as well so we've got that one which is the roll-up box 
we've got our prism treat box i love this one the panels on here you can use them on your card making as well don't just have to be for your treats i love this one i'd actually forgotten i'd got this die until i've just seen this box again uh, and i need to get that out and use it more because it's such a great one to use and then our last one is the picnic box as well so some really gorgeous designs on there um, and our michelle is going to show us exactly what we can be doing with these so i've picked the picnic treat box and um, this is one of my all-time favorites i used to love making these so these exploding boxes with all the boxes inside um absolutely loved making these so this was when we brought the die out for this i was like oh my god yes that's just brilliant um, so when you open this up you can see you've got your two stencils inside and that's going to create your exploding box on the outside and then you've got this um, huge amount of metal inside this one so this is going to make your boxes for inside your exploding box and then you've got all these elements so these are going to cut into your sides you've got the ones that cut out and cut on top um, so you've got you even for here so even for your little flap on the front you have got um, a little die that's going to uh, create a beautiful decorative element so what i have done is i've took this one and for time because i've just looked at the time um, i'm not going to run it through but you can see that i've cut it out and all you're going to do is you're going to again like i always say you're going to score and emboss all those lines i'm going to turn mine over because you can see i've already decorated it so just matte and layered some black glitter card with some beautiful pattern paper onto this gorgeous, um, this is our 12 by 12 mixed card stock packs, um, the pastels one, one of my all time favourites. And you can see it says top left. Um, I'll show you in a minute why it says that because I didn't want to get them all mixed up and confused. Um, so what you're going to do is if you want to glue it so it opens, you're just going to glue those four tabs there. So we're just going to pop, um, I'm going to use my tape pen, we're going to pop some on there. And you're just going to fold it up and it's going to come together absolutely beautifully. And I've used our black glitter card um, because it's black and it's glitter, so why wouldn't I? <laughs> it's just gorgeous. So stick that last one there. There you go. So um, you're not going to glue those two tabs there or that one because it allows you to um, open and close your box. So obviously you're going to be popping treats in there, things like that. So this one says top left. So it says top left. It's going to go on my left. So I've got it opening that way. So I've got top, middle and bottom. Oh, are we playing strike it lucky? <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got top, top middle and bo bottom for the right hand side. So I've turned it just upside down or, or turned it round so it opens that way. Um, I haven't I, done anything different. Literally, I just turned it round so it just opens that way. So basically it just meant I've put my heart on um, the right way up for all of them. So let me pop those to the side for now because I thought instead of doing the exploding box, um, let's display these in a different way. So again, bringing in our mount board so I've used my bigger pieces, so my A4 pieces for this. And again, it's just about measuring these to see how they're going to fit. So I, pop, I knew that I wanted three like this. So I've measured them on my glass mat and you can see that they're going to fit perfectly, which is why I came to um, the measurements of this that I did. So if I bring these in, you can see that they're going to fit lovely. Hence, top left, middle, right, and <laughs> all that confusing stuff. Um, so, obviously, my mount board isn't big enough to do what I did earlier, where I put the three pieces of mount board on one piece of paper and folded it up. I can't do that with this because it's obviously too big. So, what I did was, I knew that this is the size of the front and the back that I needed. So, let me give you the measurements. So, it's eight by ten and a half. So I knew that that's how big it's going to be. So I need a front and I need a back. Um, I've covered these already. Um, you can see that actually I'm using the multicolored pack that we've got. That's sort of the gray from in it. Um, Cause I'm not going to be a 12 by 12 piece of paper is not going to cover all this. So I've used separate pieces of paper to cover it. So all my edges are covered. I've already got that one on there. Let me bring this one in. 
so it's very much like I'm just how am I open? that's it I just need to keep turning it round so it, uh, I know which way I'm opening it and not doing it upside down so if you remember earlier when you saw me put those three pieces together I've done exactly the same we're going to pop those three pieces together but instead of having it all on one huge sheet I'm just going to bring in um, a spine so to speak because it's just that I haven't got a piece of paper big enough to do it so we're going to bring in the spine and it's going to go like that so whereas this morning the piece of card folded over them all or as you can see the piece of paper's folded all over those um, and again so we're going to do exactly the same I've got my spine in the middle we need to leave that um, that space there because obviously we're going to be opening and folding this like a book um, but what the reason that I've got this here is because when I bring this piece of paper over the front and I match it up like that it it just it looks a bit blur <laughs> <laughs> if you have a little border just there it, I think it elevates it yes it I breaks agree. it up you've got two beautiful patterns but together it's a bit of a, a, a mash but have a beautiful any color you want I mean I use black because I, I had my black glitter out and I've used it on nearly everything this week so I'm going to pop that on it's going to go around um, there like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this way so I'm going to start here I'm going to glue this on so straight away I know that I need to put some red liner tape on because we don't want it popping up um, I know that I only want a thin border, so I'm going to put this as close as I can without, um, you know, without making sure that I'm leaving myself enough room. So let me snip that. And again, because this is going to be an edge as well, so we're going to put it on there. Snip that off. Across. Have I got it on the top there? I have, haven't I? So give that a good press down and again, tacky glue on the rest of it. Especially the glitter. In fact, if you, I mean, I'm not sure because I haven't tried to take my um, carrier sheet off yet, but my red liner tape if I find so if you've got a different kind of glitter card if you find that it's not sticking to it put your tacky glue down put your red liner over the top um, and then it's going to stick perfectly right so let's pop this on again so I'm making sure that I've got enough space at the top and the bottom for it to fold under and then pop that down There we go. So let me just move those, give it a nice burnish, especially because it's onto glitter card. I can imagine we're going to run out of mount board today, Michelle, with your <laughs> demos. They are truly inspiring. Uh, we've had so. I think this is the most comments I've ever had um, at all. There is so many comments. I don't even think I'm going to get a chance to read them all out as I'm, I'm literally scrolling and they're just getting more and more. Honestly, <laughs> people are so loving this. It's oh, amazing. I'm glad. I'm blown away. I can't believe I've not even thought myself about using mount board to make boxes like this. No. It's incredible and so simple. And I don't want to take that away from no. your no, talent. No, but, but that's what I wanted to show, yeah. that it, it is simple. Um, and, and it is. I, always, I know it sounds awful, but if I can do it, you can do it. That's how simple it is. Yeah. Like sometimes it's just breaking it down for someone. And yes. each step is like really easy. Absolutely. Yeah. I will definitely be giving it a try. I love it. Right, so you can see it's coming together. We're going to be able to get that folded book. Um, so this black piece I measured to two and a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to do the same on the back because I want it to match. So I'm just going to pop glue all the way down this. And I haven't cut this a particular width because I know that lots of it is going to be covered up. Um, and I've just got that lovely thin border popping out. And again, I'm using my glass mat to measure exactly where I want this to go because that's what it's for. 
So where are we? Letting that straight. There we go. And then just folding that over. And again, I'm just going to hold that a sec for it to um, take or go off. Um, Oh look, front, and I've got an arrow pointing upwards. <laughs> <laughs> I love all those little things. I'm exactly the same, leaving myself little tips. It's and actually, what, I've see, what I do see, Michelle, is where I always point them out like you, I can't see them, so it's making me see that you don't really have to point all your notes out, but um, because you <laughs> no. can't actually see them, I can't see them, but I do exactly the same, but it's made me feel quite good about it because you, don't, you can't really see them. No. I think you just, you, it's because it's so, so obvious to me here. I, I do it all the time. I point out all my finger marks on the cards <laughs> and then I look up and no one can see them except no, for that's me. It. <laughs> I'm nothing if not honest. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Absolutely. I was uh, talking about honest. I was very honest in Tesco's last week. Um, obviously, all these uh, other supermarkets, but I bought my grandchildren. <laughs> I had them for the weekend, so I thought I'll get them a little activity set. Um, and I, so I bought two identical ones, and I did the shop itself service. So I put one in with a carrier bag, and then it cut, flashed up that my weight wasn't right. So when the assistant come along, she said, oh, pop that in, because I had the other one ready to scan in my hand. And she said, oh, pop that in. I said, oh, I think it's the weight of my bag. And she said, oh, we'll pop that in. I said, oh, no, I haven't scanned this one. That's another one. So I was very honest. <laughs> she didn't see the one I'd put in my bag, and I could have just popped that one in, oh. and she would have uh, agreed to it. But I was very honest. <laughs> <laughs> I was very honest. <laughs> oh, I could never have walked out the shop. I would have no. been like, oh, my God, they're going to catch me. <laughs> I just been something. <laughs> <laughs> I won't repeat what Jamie said. <laughs> no, no, don't. <laughs> He's the rose of the group. <laughs> right, so you can see that I flipped this part over um, to glue it onto here because I want to make sure that, you know, I've got enough black border showing and everything like that. So if I turn that round, now when I pop that in the middle, that is going to just sit perfectly in there and then all I need to do is I just need to bring those the bottom and the top up so let's glue this down first that's amazing it's so amazing <laughs> I know it's just paper and mount board and but just knowing to do this type of thing with mount board I would never have thought of this yeah I um I don't know it's just I've always loved box making and um, things like that so I think it was just the next natural um you know, progression for me to, yeah. to go on and do this. Such a nice idea and a really lovely use of your papers as well. Especially if you're getting to the end of a pad that you love. It's a nice keepsake way of keeping your papers nice and having them yes. on show or having them on your bookshelf. I love this. It absolutely is. And do you know what? I mean, this, I'm going to be popping my boxes in. But again, it's another album cover. Mm. So, you know, if you were doing... I mean, I made one for my brother-in-law when he got married a few years ago, and, and that's what I use. I use the mount board, and it just means it's going to be a keepsake for a lot, lot longer um, if you're using your mount board. Yeah, absolutely. So I've got my glue there, my, my tape there, but I need to make sure that it's all across that edge. So we're going to pop that across there as well. It's always those, those edges that you need to make sure mm -hmm. are going to be well stuck down. So let's cut that off. And again, where is... Oh, it's there. My poke it all just to get these up. And that one. And again... So how long have you been making boxes for, Michelle? Um... Uh, about 12, 13 years. Oh, wow. So a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So as soon as I got hooked and addicted on card making, this was the next uh, logical step right. for me. So I just, I don't know. I don't know if I enjoy the challenge of it, you know, because I think there's, there's not a lot of maths per se um, when you are making them, but you need to make sure that your measurements um, yeah. are on point. Are you going to make a bit of a mess?
But um, well, it's certainly a wow project, isn't it? And when you put so much love into something, it makes you love the craft even more, doesn't it? It does. It does definitely. And I love it because you've got um, you can really show off your papers that come with this. Yes, you absolutely can. So I'm just gonna before I fold it up, I'm gonna make sure that that's nice and dry. But what I'm going to do is, because obviously it's not looking very um, neat and tidy, but you're always going to be covering these insides off. So let me bring in my pieces of paper. So we're going to pop that one on there. This one's going to go on here. And then this one is going to make sure it goes over both of those. So we're going to pop that one right on there. So that one's going to go on first and then we'll cover up with those afterwards. So again, um, I know it takes a little while to do it, but you definitely need to make sure that you have got your red liner tape on all those edges, especially the ones that are gonna be um, folding, folding open yeah. and closed. Hence why when someone asked me a while ago about red liner tape, I was like, oh, I got through so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is why. Yeah, I go through a lot of red liner tape as well. It just, it's brilliant, isn't it? Never fails. It is so good, yeah. I think if you're ever unsure of what glue to use, but use your red liner tape. Last one. And then let me get this. Give them a good burnish. While you're sticking, Michelle, I'll get on with some of these comments, because honestly, I've just looked down and I've got a 50 at the side, 50 new comments. <laughs> That's like, I don't think I've ever had that at all. Um, so we've got lots of wow, Michelle. Cynthia's saying she loves all the little tips. Um, Stephanie's saying adorable and elegant, Michelle. Beth's saying very nice. Lynn's saying what a beautiful box. Uh, Alicia is just giving you like a million clappy hands. Oh, and love. Beautiful job, Michelle. Anne is saying beautiful, Michelle. You always have something spectacular for us. Uh, Mary is saying uh, so beautiful, Michelle. Laurie's saying wow, that is quite different. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle. Lynn is saying it would be so pretty to fill in the bottom with some of our flower forming foam. Um, Evelyn saying, wow, this is amazing box construction, Michelle. Is there any way to get the measurements? Um, I'm sure we'll recap them at the end of the demo. Sandra saying, I'm so loving this, Michelle. I have ordered a supply of mount boards. See, I told you the mount boards are going to go. <laughs> um, uh, and already have a plan for enhancing my sister's birthday present. And Michelle, that's why we love you so much, so beautiful, and you can spin off so many other ideas from this box um, from Blessed Crafter, uh, Tina Jolly, Deborah saying greetings from Texas, Evelyn saying, does all the mount board have the same thickness? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, it does, um, yeah. but I'm not sure what it is. Let me just have a look. It's, is it microns they do the mount board in? Let's have a look if it says what thickness doesn't actually stay on here um, but I would say looking at it it's no more than a couple of mils yeah one or two mils so yeah not not that thick but very sturdy um, Evelyn's saying I made these um, for Easter treats last year so the boxes um, Mary Reno saying she loves your color combination Sandra saying my template library has been allocated premier place um, in my uh, Calax unit. Uh, yes, someone told me the other day it fits in the Calax unit, which is brilliant. Um, Evelyn saying this is fan fascinating to watch. So 700 GSM, our Jamie's just found out for you for each of the balls. So that's quite Perfect. a one. That just shows you how thick that is uh, when you think our oh, general cardstock is uh, 300 GSM. Um, we've got uh, Deborah Spencer saying that is the, so pretty. The pretty papers. Is that the new Flora Bunda? Yes, that absolutely is. Uh, Terry's saying, why... Um, uh, why is Michelle not pulling off the top of the tape liner? Um, you took the tape off, didn't you? Uh, you probably wasn't doing it at the time. She was probably doing all your sticky stuff beforehand. Yeah, it yeah. was just then putting the papers on top. So we did eventually put it down, yes. Um, and Anne is saying, so Michelle, are the reasons the six 
millimeter red liner tape has oh so so michelle <laughs> is the reason the uh, red liner tape is out of stock <laughs> yes yes it is <laughs> apologies if it's out of stock we didn't realize that <laughs> but thank you for all your gorgeous comments i think you'll agree michelle is just doing the most amazing job here so you saw again what I did before I fold I've put my two pieces on a little bit wonky but you probably can't see that so I don't know why I'm telling you um, again just what you're going to do is you're just going to lift that a little bit and then you're going to get your scarring tool and very gently you're going to um, encourage that card to go down so when you lift it up you've got that perfect scar in there and then you saw me obviously lift them both up and it looks nice it looks so much nicer with that there um, than if it wasn't there and again on the back so again what i'm going to do is hence why these have all been um named what they've been named we're going to pop them in so this is going to go here so hence that it's going to open that way in um rather than out. I suppose it didn't really matter, but it was just my, my design. What I was seeing was them opening in rather than out. And again, if you've got something different in mind, then you're going to do it slightly different to me. Let me pop that there so I can judge where that one's going to go. So let me just turn that round so I can see. And that's the good thing with tacky glue. It gives you that little bit of wiggle room as it well. It does. It does. But again, I know that I'm gluing these boxes down and even though, though they're going to be opened and closed to put some treats in or for whatever reason, um, I know that that um, tacky glue is going to keep my boxes perfectly down. Oh, I look like my skin's peeling. It's not. It's the tacky glue <laughs> I've got all over my hands. <laughs> um, right, so what I'm going to do with these ones, I'm going to put them on the same side because when I close it up, they're going to sit next to each other perfectly. I just love this. Such a nice design. Looks really pretty. Uh, and, and the fact you can use whatever papers you've got in your stash is just that added bonus. You could be making loads of these, couldn't you? Yes, definitely. So this, again, it's been something that's very easy to make. But when you make this and pass it off or give it, gift it or sell it or whatever you do... Um, it's strong, it's sturdy. People are going to look and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, that is amazingly well made. Do you know what this would be lovely for, Michelle, if you had like a baby? You know when you keep your baby's first curl, your baby's yes. first tooth? I mean, what a keepsake baby box. And you could then use that space to put your photos of the baby growing up. Well, that's exactly what I was just going to say. I mean, I haven't done it, but I've got um, sort of a small, um, small slither of cardiff. So if I just very quickly i'm not going to glue it in but just to show you guys again keep your black um theme going through if you pop that there and obviously only glue around the sides you've got a pocket so you've got a pocket for pictures or tags or anything that you want to pop in there a note and then you've got those lovely six boxes there that if i stand that up you can see sit next to each other perfectly that's amazing. And then all you're going to do is you're going to pop on the front. Um, where's the heart? So that's just the heart from in the pack. You're going to pop something I love. Can you tell that I love these from the, the Floribunda? They're and amazing, aren't so they? Along my journey, I have learned that the more thankful I am, the more I have to be thankful for. You're just going to pop those on the front. And then when you open it up, or whoever opens it up, they've got those lovely gift boxes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I'm loving that. And actually, I've just looked down and Cameron's going, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone's absolutely loving those. Terry's saying she's going to be making these for her daughter. She loves it. Thank you, Michelle, for making it, uh, me look like a superstar. Uh, absolutely. Um, and now I'm going to be saving this show myself because <laughs> I definitely need to get to grips with uh, using mount board more often. Now, the mount board's selling very quickly. So if you want some, get on there. We're recap that in a second but the boxes that Michelle was using we do them in a three-piece set these are incredible boxes the first one here is our picnic
plastic box. That's the one that Michelle was showing you. Uh, the other thing I was thinking, Michelle, is they're not those boxes that have an open lid that come on and off, so the lids will stay tucked in, which is a great idea for doing that sort of almost roll-up folder, uh, which is beautiful. So you're getting those three-piece box set. I love this one. This is our prism box, uh, which uh, it's got all these. You've got in a three-pack of these with 59 dies in total. And the last one is our roll-up box as well. So you can do multiples of them, and they'll all roll up together. £71 a day or $38. No, not $38. $80.23. I was looking at the $71.38. Um, yes, which are absolutely incredible. Uh, now, someone was just asking about looking at our grab bag for the um, box making. Uh, it's an incredible value set. You're saving over 50% uh, on this one, uh, which is amazing. It has got the most luxurious card in there that you can see here. Uh, beautiful glitter, glitter card and pearlized card. You're getting dies in there and you're also getting those amazing ornament dies, uh, which is incredible value. Uh, 25 pounds or 35 dollars and remember if you head to our website we've got yellow sticker deals we've got up to 70 percent off uh, you've also got an additional 14 percent off so you need to put in the comments love 14 and you'll get an additional 14 percent off as well as your club inspire now anyone that doesn't know what our club inspire is all about take a look at this Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. Many of our viewers bring it up time and time again and that's our wax seal seal gate. Thinking Joe, it might not work as well because I've put too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten to put me, um, <laughs> me thing in place. <laughs> because I have a way of words that I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparklings, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. I went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comforts of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Ah, oh, them boys getting into mischief over at the warehouse. They're great, aren't they? Uh, welcome to Saturday on Crafters TV. You're, we're in the middle, in fact, gone in the middle, I can't believe the time, uh, of Masterclass. You are loving it. I love all your comments today. Uh, we have so many people watching, and I'm not surprised because you're learning so much from our Michelle. Uh, she's been doing the most amazing construction with that mount board. Uh, it's going quickly, so grab that while you can. It's amazing value and just great to use, especially for the things that uh, Michelle's been uh, teaching us what to do but also save the show so you can go back and do it it's definitely what I'll be doing today uh, right some other items that we have on the show today is our locking heart favor box uh, this is a great one and in play your crafts right this morning uh, our Michelle was showing you how you can use these uh, this is a great one so if I show you this one first which is our stencil and die set you can see all our die sets just there um, and then we've got our stencil, which you can cut out that whole image with, which is amazing. So that's our first one, the Lockin' Heart Favour Box. We then have our Ornate, ornate Favour Box, um, another beautiful design. So just depending on which designs you want to do, they both have those dies that go with them and they have that amazing stencil uh, that cuts it out for you as well, which are incredible. Today's price, $24.55 or $28.82. It's got that yellow low tag as you can see down there with a 15% saving plus an additional 15% and like the other day if you go to the checkout and type in although we had a different event then uh, a different uh, code uh, the event is love 14 type that in you get an additional 14% off uh, Michelle have you got something to show us with this one I have. Oh, oh she has she's <laughs> just she's just trimming with the guillotine which, oh just uh, sneakily yeah, trimming just, something just off. getting her stuff yeah <laughs> so I'm just cutting just a couple of um, squares just to go inside. I think I've cut those just a little bit too small. So I will show you in a second what I'm doing. I have cut those a little bit too small. So this is my stencil that I've got um, placed on here. You can't see the side of that in a minute. I'm going to be drawing around it so you'll be able to see it. But just measuring the size of that. So what have we got? We've got... Um, two and six eighths of an inch so i just want to cut a, cut a couple of pieces just to fit in there so two and six eighths so i did i was going way too small it's because i was cheekily trying to um cut it before debbie threw to me <laughs> oh, you should have just said you need a bit more time. Oh, no, 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 it's quite right, all right. Although I'm I quite, I love seeing, you know, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I love seeing the guillotine at work. I do. Yeah, I love watching it. Craig did it the other day and we wasn't even going to, we were just going to mention it uh, and he done a, like a miniature demo on it. And even I'm wowed by it and I know how good the machine <laughs> is. I love our guillotine, but I do love it in uh, when it's being used. Yeah, uh, we don't, we don't use it enough. Definitely not. Because we've already got everything pre-cut, obviously, for time, um, for the show. We don't tend to get it out too often. That's it, yeah. But it's such a satisfying... Just using it is so satisfying. It, even the mount board, it cuts through it like butter. So what one are you using here, Michelle? So, sorry. I do, do you know what? I've skipped ahead five steps. So it's the ornate <laughs> favour box. 
So this is the one, obviously, you can see I've got the stencil, I've got the dies here. Um, the, so if you use just that on its own, you can cut in, but you've got the matte piece. I'll take that off in a second and show you. So hence why I was cutting these, because I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these and I'm going to cut straight into the box. And then if you pop some, um, you know, pink or whatever colour card behind it, um, it just looks fabulous. Oh, nice. So it's a good job Debbie asked me what I was doing because no one knew. <laughs> <laughs> I was just drawing on I'm a piece of paper. I'm just nosy. I'm just nosy. So we're just going to stencil all, well, we're not, we're going to pencil all the way around the stencil. Um, I thought I would do this all the way from the beginning because someone asked on this morning's show, how do I know which bits are yes. the scarring bits? So I thought, thought if I just show you it all, then you. Um, you can see straight from um, the beginning. Sorry. Yeah, it's always good to know. Yeah. So uh, it gives you those score lines, which is good. That's it. You can always tell when one of us are concentrating because we talk ever so slow. <laughs> so what you're literally going to do is you're going to put a pencil line in every area that it allows you to. So you've got all these little slots that you're going to... Um, mark up and then when you take it off you can see that oh, I've missed one it doesn't really matter because once I get that on my scoreboard I can sort of judge that anyway yeah but let's pop it in so there you go so it's entirely up to you you can cut this out and then score or you can score then cut it out I always tend to score first because I've got my lovely straight edges that I can use um, to sort of move it about on my um, board if I want to. So for this one, it is just, it's not fitting perfectly on a two inch or anything. That's just gone um, that little bit lower. So that's scarring at two and seven eighths. So again, so let's turn this round and I'm gonna just scar there. And we're gonna scar all the way up there. So, in fact, I haven't done that one. Let me just roughly, there we go. And then I'm just going to cut this away here because it's going to allow me just to see a lot better when I place it on my scarboard where those um, scar lines need to go. So there we go, so let's pop that on there. Um, so this is roughly, so um, just from my pencil lines, I might need to just move this about just a little bit, just to get it um, on one of these, which is why I like to leave a, a big um, straight edge before I cut it all the way down. So I think we're roughly on that one. There we go. So just by leaving that V there, I can judge sort of which mm -hmm. which one needs to be used. There, there. I think that's it. I forgot almost. Yes. Right. So let's pop that to the side, and we're just going to finish off um, cutting all this out. So that is. Definitely needs to go a bit further up. I, do you know I do this at home? I sort of chat away to myself in the kitchen. <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> sort of talking yourself through it and the kids will come in and they don't even ask anymore who I'm talking to. Yeah. <laughs> they just sort of... I do it in the supermarket, Michelle. <laughs> I ask myself what I need down the aisle or I if do. there is anything yeah. I need there. Yeah, I'm always doing that. Sort of stood looking at which beans shall I pick? Yeah, that's well, me. Well, they're a special <laughs> offer, but I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> One's better. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> I talk to myself all the time. It's terrible. So for cutting these um, curved bits, this is, again, this is going to be entirely up to you. I tend to mishmash the way I cut. I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed, but you can see that I've gone down there and I've cut that bit first, and then I'm going to come round here. Don't ask me why I do it that way. It's just the way that I find easier. 
and I think when you uh, the other one we've got is like the heart so um, I think however you cut it it doesn't matter as long as it works then it doesn't really matter yeah and I love that because it, you're, you're right in what you say it's how, what you find best for you yeah definitely So you're definitely using your pencil line as more of um, not a rough guide, but as a guide. So my pencil marks don't go all the way down to my score line, but I'm going to go all the way down with my scissors. So again, just using a little bit of your judgment with these. I'm trying to cut slowly fast. <laughs> Does that even make sense? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I, do you know what I love about the crafting community and all these guys is the nonsense that comes out of my mouth, but yet you all know exactly what I'm talking about. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Staggeration. Staggeration. <laughs> oh, I've come out with some carkers, haven't I? Staggeration. Hmm. <laughs> but everyone knew what I meant, which was fabulous. <laughs> there we go. So all we're going to do now is we're going to give all these scar lines um, a fold and burnish. Now, I think I'm not too sure because I do you know what? I don't think I've done this one before. I think I always go for the hearts. Um, do I need to use my craft knife to cut these? Have you done this one? Do you know, I, isn't it all right me showing you something that I haven't used before? <laughs> I'm supposed to be an expert. I'm supposed to be telling you what to do. Um, what, you've not used a craft line, knife before? No, this, this particular one, I've got these um, boxes, but I always go for the heart one. So my ornate favour box that I'm just using at the minute, I'm just looking and I'm thinking, um, are they supposed to be scar lines? Our, um, our Craig had a brilliant idea or a different use with a craft knife last oh, okay. week. Uh, he used it with the lid on, so knife pointing upwards, but yeah. with the lid on, and then you put it into your finger dauber. Oh. Fits perfect. Wow. Yeah, so it's so much easier than doing it with your finger and you've got a little dauber on oh, the end. I never, oh, I would never have thought to do I it know. that way. Very good tip there. Right, so let's finish burnishing them. So we're going to pop tape on this. We're not going to pop it together. We're going to... Um, do you know what? I mean, I've put those score marks on the top. But again, depending on what you are wanting to do with this box, you don't necessarily have to cut them out. Let me just, so if I fold my box all the way up, actually, what I could do is, I'm going to do it that way. So I'm not going to cut those marks out at all. I think what I'm going to do is fold this up. Sure, it's nice and folded. And then let's tape these bottom bits. So we'll get the bottom bit taped together first. And then the inside here. And making sure it's nice and square before we press it down. So what I'm going to do is we're going to actually just going to pop that one under there. I'm going to fold it like that because I like that. So we're going to pop that to the side. Uh, and I know I said I was going to actually cut out uh, on the bonbon, uh, bonbon box, on the favour box, but I'm not going to. I'm just not going to. prerogative. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm going to pop that. So make sure that you pop this matte layer piece on as well. Um, unlike me this morning, who just created a lovely fancy piece of paper. <laughs> Let's pop that on there. Let me just get a little bit of tape to keep it in place. I'm not facing up, I am, yeah. I, I'm doing it, aren't I? I'm not so much chatting to you guys as I'm chatting away to myself. <laughs> Let me find another. 
We don't mind you talking to yourself. We're all a little bit crazy here. <laughs> well, do you know what? Sometimes you need that expert opinion. <laughs> I say that to my kids and they just look at me and they're like, if you need an expert opinion, why are you talking to yourself? And I'm like, because I'm the only one that answers me. <laughs> That is so true. My mum used to always say it's the first side of madness is talking to yourself. Yeah. And the second side is when you answer yourself back. <laughs> well, then you're totally bonkers, aren't you? <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. Right, so you can look at that. Peeled it straight off. Beautiful. And it's cut all the way through. I don't need to tap any bits out with that at all. So let me just pop those to the side. So with my dotty, we'll put a couple of these on and for me that's a nice nice quick demo for you guys <laughs> so let's pop that there they're all shouting at you michelle it's the score line <laughs> don't cut those off it's the score line <laughs> I thought it, what? do you know what i feel terrible because really i should have i've cut them out and everything at home but i've never um popped the top together because mm. like i say i always use the the heart one, I think we do that. I think we buy four or five oh, of a particular you have a favourite. Yeah, mm -hmm. you've got your favourite. Oh, I'm glad I didn't cut them then. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so there we go, but that's just a nice quick box I thought we would pop together. Um, but again, so I've just done the, the top a little bit different. Yeah. If you want to do it the correct way, they're score lines, not cut lines, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but the sides are just beautiful, aren't they? Oh, absolutely amazing, amazing. Um, yes, so, so if I show you this one, so on the top, um, they can stick up. So if you look at the picture on here, uh, you can see they sort of stick up at the top, those little score line pieces, or you can see it in the bigger picture at the top here. Um, so they can be tucked down or pushed out. So either way is good. Uh, so that's the one uh, Michelle was using, which is our locking heart. Oh, no, it's not, sorry. It's because I said my favourite's the lock. Hearts. No, it's because I've got the different board with the different, there we go, ornate favour, that's that one, this is the one. Um, so yes, so you've got your score lines inside these pieces here, um, and that's the first box that uh, Michelle was just using, uh, and then we've got the one that's uh, Michelle's favourite, which is the lock-in hearts box as well. So different designs on your dies and a different shape in your box, 24.55 or 80, 28, 82 if you you are uh, in our US. Uh, now we do want to show you uh, something that was launched yesterday which is proving extremely popular you're loving them and i'm not surprised whenever we bring you an embossing folder uh, they always go so quickly everyone we all the all the team love embossing folders we know you do uh, and these ones you've really loved because uh, they're not just our regular embossing folders these are 3d embossing folders but with a set of nesting dies uh, it's almost like that um your nesting dies but embossing folder with nesting dies. So I absolutely love that. So that's our oval one. We've then got our uh, traditional square one. We've then got a rectangle one. And we've also got the beautiful diamonds, which I think is my favourite. I love that one. And they can be used either way. It doesn't matter what way they go. You can use them any way in any direction. Uh, and I will just show you a few samples of those so you can just see how beautiful they are. I love that, doing that dome front card. Um, using your inks, uh, gilding waxes on the top. That is so, so pretty. Um, using them elongated, uh, using those die cuts in the middle centre to die cut the aperture out and creating that beautiful card look at that mirror card inside as well absolutely lovely there's just so many variations of things that you can do with these so think of your aperture cards think of your boxes your easel cards all those type of things you can do love this one absolutely stunning box there uh, using it to decorate um, and then just a couple more samples we've got another easel card here look I mean look at that absolutely stunning uh, these are going to work really well with your paints with your your ink pads with your pens uh, just a stunning amount and you're getting all of those so four pieces um, which are £35.96 or $46.62 now we do have a show stopper of these as well so if you wanted to go for that show stopper here it is uh, you're getting those additional items so you're getting your applicator your ink applicator plus your ink pad and you're getting that glue uh, glitter glue 
flakes uh, and flakes, gilding flakes, which is amazing, for £40.96 or 51 62 So that is your best value. And remember, if you head to the um, website, you will find that code for an extra 14% off, which is love, L-O-V-E, 14. Uh, use that at the end of your uh, checkout and it will take another additional 14% off, as well as your Club Inspire and any other discounts that you've already occurred, occurred on there. Um, so uh, absolutely amazing deals today. Uh, now we're going to the, I've just seen the yellow ticket on these, so you're getting that 15% off plus an additional, plus that additional 14% if you enter that love 14 code at the end. These are our Constantina dies. There's two in this collection, uh, six dies in total. You're getting these for 24.55 or 28.82. These are beautiful. These ones are our vines, so very sort of our foliage sort of designs. And this one is our lace, which has got that real lacy edge. And if you're wondering what these are, how they work, what you can do with them, our Michelle is going to show you just what they do. So this is another um, thing that I love. So anything that's got, got the potential to be a box or dimension, anything dimension uh, in your cards, then I absolutely love. Um, and I love that you've got, you've got the little um, instruction booklet or leaflet in there as well, um, just in case. But I think once you've done these, um, let me just tap that out. Once you've, once you've done it once or once you've seen it once, you, it, again, it's one of those things that you realise how simple it is. That one don't want to come out, bear with me. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm wondering who had these dies last, but I'm pretty sure it was me. <laughs> I <know Jane's> <laughs> Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Or well, Debbie Robinson. She admits she leaves her bits in. Oh, does she? <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Michelle. I'm sorry, that just slipped out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. We all like to keep our bits in. <laughs> Not in dyes, though. No. <laughs> yeah, Craig Ooh. was taking some out the other day, so and I said I blame Sarah, and he says he blames Debbie Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've popped all three on. It wasn't me. If Sarah's watching, it wasn't me. <laughs> um, Oh, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, so we're going to pop these through, we're going to cut these out, show you how easy it is to sort of pop them together. So let me just get rid of that glass plate. And again, you can see, I, I don't even need to pop that off for you to see that that's cut all the way through perfectly. So let's pop that there. And that one, and that one. So pop that out. And I know which of my scar lines on this one. I'm all right on this one. <laughs> Don't so, cut them off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so fold this one first. And what I always do is I always have my finger behind it. Because uh, you're so close to that, um, all that cut out bit, it can be, um, not tricky, but you just want to be careful that you don't give it a scar or a bend where you don't want it to be. So if you just bend it all across really gently first, and then it's going to go perfectly. And you're just going to concertina these back and forth on themselves. Make sure they've got a nice sharp edge. And again, just on that side. Just gently teasing it into place. There we go. And there you go. So that's your lovely corner piece. The only thing different with your corner piece to your side pieces is you're just going to glue these together. So as they come together, just there, you're going to pop a little bit of glue. So I'm going to pop a little bit of glue just on that corner. And depending on your project, you, you can either do this now or... Um, once it's attached, it's entirely up to you. Um, press it down and then you've got your corner. So you can see you've got that lovely concertina. So clever, aren't they? So easy. And it's exactly the same with these as well. Um, just for time, I'm going to pop those to the side because I'm going to bring it. In fact, I've got my acetate 
Um, and all I've done is with the acetate, I've just popped it behind that decorative piece and I've built it up all the way round. So I've got a piece of acetate at the front with the, the front bit glued onto it. And then if I turn it over, I've got another piece of acetate at the back um, that I've glued in. So that's going to glue to the back piece here. So if I bring that up, I've glued the piece of acetate at the back in here, glued the one at the front here, and it's given me, um, you know, that double acetate frame. And then on the inside of the back piece of acetate, I've just put that lovely um, sentiment strip across. Um, I've left one open, so I've red liner taped them all in. I've left the top bit open because I'm going to pop a few sequins in there. So, just move that one out of the way and pour some sequins in. Let's just, yeah, that's enough. And then I'm going to pull this um, tape off here because I haven't glued the top bit yet. So I'm just going to get that under there, just pull it out. So this is where you need to make sure that your edges are really um, stuck to the edge of the acetate. You don't want no holes if you're going to be um, putting any kind of sequins or shaker bits in there. Let's just fold that down in there. Give it a good squish down. I've got a few sequins stuck, but that's all right. And then I've got a lovely little oh, shaker. Oh, that's amazing. So what we're going to do now is, of course, it's sort of box making, so we're going to pop it on the top of a box. So um, this is my lid. I've already got my uh, box base made up. Um, so this is my lid. And what I was thinking, because this is going to look so cool on top of your box lid, but actually it's also going to look cool if you've got the ability to take it off and stand it up. So I thought what we could do, and quickly, I've brought some of my magnets. You, yeah, look at all the um, thingamabobs stuck to them. Thingamabobs. Paper clips. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pop... Um, where's my red liner tape? We're going to pop a magnet in the middle of this box lid. So... Let's just take a tiny little bit of this off. Yeah, so um, I think it's always nice when you've got something really beautiful like that, that you actually could take off if you wanted to. And to be honest, this is just a fun thing that I like to do. Um, so that's roughly the middle, isn't it? Again, if you're at home, you know, measure exactly where that middle piece is. Um, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in just a piece of the matching paper and take that one off and we're just going to cover it up. Um, you could bring in an absolutely alternating piece um, if you don't want it to sort of match in but when I've popped that on you're not going to see it anyway. So let's tape all the way around this to get it to stick. And again, I'm, because I've got that magnet there and it's um, one of my quite deep ones, um, it's not one of ours. Ours are a lot thinner than that. Uh, but because this one's quite deep, I'm going to put red liner tape so I know that it's not going to move anywhere. And then I'm going to run some red liner tape through the middle. In fact, I'm going to pop it over. So I know that that's not going to move either. So let's get all this off. Pop that there. And then that. So let's pop that. So what I'm going to do is, because that's on that sentiment's on an angle, I'm just going to angle that a little bit so I know that... Um, and it's on, I'm not going to see it. So I've got that one there. Let's turn this one over. 
and we're going to pop, um, let me just judge, I'm just, all I'm doing is just making sure that this is going to fit exactly where it needs to. So what I'm going to do is let's get a little bit of tape, pop it on top of my magnet. Now normally if I'm putting a piece of card on the top, this is acetate, I would maybe put a little bit of uh, ink or something on there because then when you pop this on here, the ink splodge would tell me exactly where that needs to go. But I can't do that because it's acetate, so I'm just going to pull that to the side and then it's stuck exactly where I need, know it needs to be. We're going to pop this over and again, let me use the red liner. And I've got sequins everywhere. But you know you've had a good day when you've got sequ sequins everywhere, glitter everywhere, glue stuck all up your arm. <laughs> Just me? <laughs> I know it's not just me that's that messy. Mm -hmm. It can't possibly be. It's all right. You've got nothing on Debbie Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because for the most part, you can judge who was in the day before by when you when you come right. in and why sort of how things are left. Uh huh. You can definitely. So did you guess that it was Arlianne in yesterday? Do you know what? I didn't know. <laughs> no, I thought she was a lot tidier than ah. that. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's gonna go exactly over there it's gonna cover all that mess up and get rid of that red liner tape and then that's gonna sit on there but you're gonna be able to spin it so it's Amazing. just an added little element that's just a little bit of fun for you so let's tape these up it's so lovely, Michelle, because then when you've got, not got use for the box, you can literally take that, like you say, you can stand it up against on your bookcase or anywhere. It's well, beautiful. that's what I thought. You could pop it. Yeah. I mean, it's not hard to make just a little stand. You could pop a little stand on the back. I mean, mine's got a lovely sentiment in, but yours could have a picture um, of someone in. You could, you could make this um, as a uh, wedding invite. Yes. Not necessarily Amazing. on, well, maybe on the box, because there's some really extravagant um wedding invites out there isn't there oh absolutely if you pop that yeah. on the top i love you've that. got the ability to <laughs> it's just just fun it's just a bit of of play but those concertina border dies on there are just adorable oh that is amazing what another amazing demo and if you want to be creating that like our michelle uh, these are the dies that you need so this is our lace one it's our 3d constantina border dies uh, 24 55 or 28 82 and that's our vines so it's the pack of two you're saving 15 percent plus an extra 15 percent uh, and if you go to check out remember to use that code love 14 and you'll get another 14% off. Um, I've got to read you out just a couple here of, um, um, of messages. Uh, Shadir is saying, Michelle, Michelle, I have to send Sarah a personal email on your behalf. Crafty Woman of the Year at Crafters Companion. Aww. I love that. Shadia, Thanks. that's so lovely. <laughs> um, Hadassah is saying, save the show the moment mm. I heard that it was box making, but I never had an idea it would turn out to be this amazing machine. You are knocking the show out of the park. Well done. Loved every project for you today. So thanks for sharing and inspiring us to get our craft on and some and make some boxes. Um, Terry is saying, I think we need another two hours with Michelle. Such amazing projects, Michelle. Uh, Valerie is saying, saying, Michelle, you are amazing and she loves your makes. Rosalind saying, well, we know who's going to make demo of the day, the week the month <laughs> <laughs> and Laura's saying shh I'm watching in the office at work and I'm so amazed by Michelle and her mates that I'm not getting much done so many comments loving this yeah absolutely Aww. I've never been on a show with so many comments Michelle and that's all <laughs> down to your amazing mates right we are going to get a vote going it's going to be very difficult um, I, I just don't know I mean Michelle's got three amazing mates so uh, line them up for us Michelle and tell us what they are in number four okay so number ready. one was the first box that i did with the um lovely lid so that's number one 
Number two was this one that I made. So um, just in the break, I just finished gluing my sentiment on there and I've just popped a little bit of ribbon round, but that's, that's number two. Uh, number three, see, I think it's gonna be number three. <laughs> So number three, <laughs> but that was more to show you the stencil from start to finish. So a nice little one there. And then number four with the um, twisted oh. top. So really tough. It, you know what, they're so tough because I love that last one, but the folder I love. Uh, it's going to be a really tough one. You've got to decide anyway. One, two, three or four. Uh, get your votes in and we'll be checking that in a little while. So much love coming in from Michelle. Absolutely loving that. Um, right, mount board. So if you want to do a lot of the designs that Michelle has been doing, our mount board is literally flying out the door. You are loving it. Uh, so grab it while you can. It does have a 10% discount off at the moment moment this is our a4 you're getting five different colors so i think you're getting your brown your black your gray your cream and your white um, and you're getting two of each of those colors but they are all backed in white so if you just want to use white side you can do that as well uh, 7.19 if you're in platinum price and 10 dollars 73 which is amazing we also do it in different sizes as well so if you did want to take a different size uh, we do the small amount balls so these are great you're getting a pack of 20 they're five and three quarters by seven and three quarters they all come in white so you're getting all that lovely white mount board uh, we worked out earlier or jamie worked out earlier at 700 gsm so really nice strong weight so it's great for all your construction as michelle's been showing us and our final size one that we've got is our this is our biggest size so we've got an eight and three quarters by ten and three quarters uh, and you're getting 20 packs of this one as well so this is a really nice size in fact i think this was the perfect size i don't know if we can recap on that in a minute we did have a question asking to recap on the sizes of your bot your folder yeah, yeah. um so i'm sure michelle can recap on those sizes in a little while this is 16 19 or 17 dollars 95 which is amazing uh, now the grab bag again there's a few holding on here so you're at absolutely loving them this is our embossing grab bag it's such a cool one to have whether you are starting your journey on embossing or you want to um, uh, you want to just add extras to some of the collections that you've already got uh, this is a gorgeous one the knitwits it's the first time I've seen this one because obviously I've not really um, had too much of this collection um, and then we've also got our this was from our country lane this is a beautiful cut oh oh look at that only a few left if it's green on the scene it's soon soon won't be seen <laughs> uh, you're loving it and i'm not surprised 25 pounds or 35 pounds you're saving a huge amount here uh, it's got some of our panel embossing uh, folders in there as well we've also got one of our 2d embossing folder our dotty ones are great for creating backgrounds we've also got that waves one which is gorgeous in the 3d um, there's also in here another cut and emboss folder uh, which is from our Christmas range. You've got a bit of everything in there. And this one is one of my favorites. I love the star embossing folder. It's a cut in embossing, uh a cut and embossing folder uh, it's great for all occasions because that star whether it's to congratulate someone on a new job graduation passing their driving test or just wishing them a happy birthday because they're a star lots in there but remember that is limited stock it's not going to last the rest of the day so get in quick for that one 25 pounds or 35 dollars now we do have a grab um, bag of the um, box making uh, this is a great one to add into your stash so we've put some cardstock in there, a luxury cardstock, which is beautiful. You've then got all your panels there to put into your boxes. We've also got that bauble die, which is amazing, and that ornament die, which is absolutely beautiful. You're saving over 50% on here, £25 a day or $35, uh, which is amazing. Um, so many comments, so many comments. Thank you all for your lovely comments. Uh, the winner of today's one is of course number two Aww. absolutely uh, do you know the measurements michelle could we quickly recap yeah on the measurements absolutely for that? so each piece is ten and a half by eight so the front and back is ten and a half by eight and my um spine i think that's three yes yeah, so that's three um by ten and a half perfect 
that's lovely. So any of those large amount boards is going to work for that. So your 10 and 3 quarters by 8 and 3 quarters and your A4 ones will work with that, which will be brilliant. Uh, right, we have some more offers for, you, offers for you to look at as well on the show today. Uh, we're nearly coming to the head of the time. Look at this. If you wanted a scoreboard and your Envelobots creator, we've got an amazing deal on these today. Uh, £20, $20, platinum price, £16 or $16. You're saving over 20% on that today. So if you do want to get into your box making and creating your envelopes, uh, that is the scoreboard for you. Uh, the next thing we've got is some Centura Pearl, which is absolutely stunning. Now this is A3, not A4, so you're getting double the amount. Look at that price. You're saving 10% plus an extra 15%. And then at checkout, remember to use that code LOVE14 and you'll get an additional 14% off. 70 sheets collection, this one. Uh, you're getting the uh, pastels, the hint of gold and the hint of silver, which is amazing. Uh, how about some luxury cardstock? We've got some of that in our stash. 90 sheets in total. 90 sheets with 22.92. You know what a bargain that is. Now we've got this in our green, our ice blue and our red. You're getting 10 sheets of each mirror card, matte mirror card and your shiny mirror card in all those three colours. Saving 10% plus that extra 15% off. You're saving in total over 20% platinum price, £18.34. Now we have got some other luxury cardstock uh, which is absolutely stunning. Done in. Now you're getting the uh, purple one here in the luxury card stop, but you're also getting the carnivals and the precious metals. Now the carnivals and precious metals, you're actually getting glittered sticker sheets as well as your glitter card stock as well as your mirror card in there. This is an absolute steal. I would grab these and put these in your basket. £27.51 today or $35.84, saving over 20%. And please don't forget to use that code LOVE14 at the checkout. Now permanent tape pens you know what we're like for our tape pens uh, and we always give these on a bargain which are amazing £11.97 for all four of these um, the dotty tape pens are still out of stock you know they sell out time and time again so grab them while we still have them in stock they are 88 meters of tape pens that you've got on there and absolutely perfect for your construction £11.97 today or $20.97 you're saving over 20 or you're saving 25% on that which is uh, absolutely amazing yet yeah, 25% only £9.58 of your platinum price honestly the more you spend the more you save because you go up to those next tier on your platinum uh, on your um, tiers on your uh, club inspire so once you get to platinum you can see what a saving that is on there um, right so we're uh, uh, Caroline saying Debbie and Michelle you are a great team Michelle you are my hero um, she claims that <laughs> great teacher and beautiful work uh, she'll watch this over and over again. Uh, I couldn't agree more, um, uh, Caroline, because uh, it's just been truly inspirational. Uh, Michelle, we're back with storage later on. Yes. What have you got in store there? Oh, so we've got um, lots of our Spectrum Noir storage for you. Um, we're going to sort of cover the basics of, of what pens are which, your ink pads, um, what papers you need for them, what ink pads you need for them. So lots of um, back to basics and more importantly, the storage for all that. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Can't wait to see that. You know what a storage girl I am. I love it all being organised and lovely. Uh, you're going to get some absolute belters of a deal tonight and see exactly how that storage works. Uh, all Spectrum Noir, so come back tonight at six o'clock. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed the show as much as we have today. The, it, the two hours has absolutely flown by. Uh, I've absolutely loved it. I hope you've loved it out there. Uh, give us a couple of hours and we'll come back and do it all again. Bye. Thank you.